guys clan war recap time and i'm visiting beast mode our friends over at beast mode and they had a very very interesting war they had a friendly war against fortis ltu and just look at how dominant they have been performing here and basically it was a no dip 35v35 war thanks to supercell for allowing us to have those Epic breakdowns again, and yeah, basically two 11v11, three stars, and two 10v10s, and that's what we're going to show here today. And we're starting with the most incredible attack here by Andy. Andy with the 11v11 six pack, incredible stuff here on this anti three star base. He's doing it with a queen walk, queen charge with um, healer, uh, basically queen and warden working their way from 12 to 3 o'clock making sure he gets through those point defense with a rage starts some funneling with archers here not losing any time and then as you can see he chose this entry carefully because king and queen are basically on the way of this queen walk gets through the king without using ability nor poison he used the uh, remaining force of the rage and then here comes the next rage to ensure that um, he can get through the enemy queen and the the grand warden and here comes the very uh, well timed wall breakers baby drag was used to tank the arch tower and funnel building so very 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 good value here and then a damage cc is taken care of with a poison and the queen no need for ability and uh, so you just use two rages up till now and uh, it'll be a, a a minor attack so the main portion of the of the raid is then uh, miners coming from 12 but queen is still the main main protagonist of this attack and here comes the main trick raged war breakers with the warden ability il allowing uh, them to open up this compartment of the inferno and then queen under raged healers is able to kill that inferno without even ability use it now and now miners are in rage and heal to make sure they get through the f the, um, the second inferno and those wizard towers etc etc so king has funneled and has been tanking at the same time so good value here and then the heal spell for the core of the base queen will slowly die here but no problem because so many miners are still up and they are bringing down the the, uh, the eagle artillery and then the healers plus the grand warden still up allowing some additional support for the remaining miners so really well done i cannot believe this is a fresh hit even but yeah if you're a very good 10v10 hitter you know 11v11 is not that much more of a big deal <laughs> no but um incredible stuff really well done awesome raid nice to watch so congrats to andy we're showing his second attack number three which was a hog attack hog attack on 11 v 11 and again an anti three star base so the most important defense is here in the core the clan castle and the the Ardler artillery but as you can see well you could imagine that this was going to be an air raid because those air defenses are all at six o'clock very clumped up so with a good charge you would be able to get all of those um air defenses and could then you know think about a dragon raid or la loon or mass loons or something like that but he decides to go with hogs in this one so again very good use of wall breakers here uh, two layer wall breakers and then king again was used to funnel and tank in the beginning gets down those air defenses so that his healers will survive jumps the queen into the core and then with a the rage the poison is able to get through the damage cc yep and then up into the core 
and gets the art artillery as well. So at this point, you could really think about starting your attack. Well, I guess you have to wait until you have cleared those royals, yeah, in particular the enemy queen. But he gets that done, still no use of the ability, but there she comes, the enemy queen. It's going to be able to kill the enemy queen without ability as well. So epic, epic entry here, and then mass hawks from 3 o'clock all moving in right into the inferno. Has a free spell, which is magically incredibly well placed. I would have never been able to do this. Um, yeah, all hawks pretty much survive and then go into this heavy, heavy defense compartment with a heal spell. Uh, Queen in the meantime has uh, lost her life. But uh, yeah, those healers are now onto the Hawks, supporting the Hawks, which is very, very helpful. Next heal spell down, Warden ability is used now as they get in range of the Inferno. So perfect timing there. So most of his Hawks will have survived this. And then, yeah, just a few more defenses to go through and to finish that raid. And I loved all these archers who were placed pretty quickly so that yeah cleanup was not going to be an issue i mean time and then we can speed this up now so excellent attack by andy incredible stuff over at beast mode really well done and um yeah on to the final two attacks 10 v 10 action and we're having it uh, with gunter and with the legend so kef here playing the legend in this 10 v 10 I guess this must be like a T4 base, yeah, maxed Infernos, but still not maxed Xbos on TH10. But nevertheless, uh, pretty good base, I would say. Test wall breaker, we will play this one in, at two times X. And then, yeah, next wall breakers go in, but the funnel wasn't really quite there. Not sure if it was a fresh hit or not, but yeah, it doesn't get the Inferno, but we know it's a, th it's a triple. So uh, somehow the rest of the base must have been really, really good. And there it comes, a uh, La Lune portion from the 9 o'clock side with a lot, lot of loons here at the entry, making sure that he has lots of loons in the core. Then supports from the outside, hasted loons, and then everything sandwiching the base um, in the core now. There's really uh, a lot of loons here that go through, has had the heal spell. But obviously part of the loons were in range of the Inferno then. But still, you know, the remaining loons were healed. But basically, yeah, it doesn't quite get the, the auto tower. But just imagine if that Inferno uh, would have been down as well. Then it was an absolute overkill. Now in this case it's a little bit tight. But yeah, lots of minions, lots, lots of lava pops to clear this last defense. So great attack as well. Particularly loved the the Laloon portion of the base. That was great execution and planning. So Gunter here does it with with oh with Hawks with a shattered Goboho, and he will spend some time at twelve o'clock to funnel, get rid of all this trash on the outside, to funnel his king and bowlers into the queen with a jump. Suicide queen at 6 o'clock, obviously a cleanup attack. He knew it was a lava loon CC. So poison for the loon and then just rage those um, rage those bowlers. And then hawks, hawks from 9 o'clock. Great use of this um, scally trap because then he could place the heal spell a bit further inside of the base protecting his hawks a bit longer yep and then freeze and heal for the backside the lava hound is just absolutely doing nothing being useless useless defense defensive troop and then clean up so excellent attack by Gunter well done great war shout out to beast mode and GG Fortas LTU Beast mode um, hopefully will be in CWL next season. Let's see which which league, but hopefully Premier or Invite would be fun. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.